Hi everybody, it's Nikki from Petalmania Stop. Today I was like, I want to make a uh, t-shirt for my daughter and I for Canada Day. So I designed this SVG today in Adobe Illustrator and Procreate using my dog Winston. He's one of our three Scotties. And um, I thought I'd quickly show you how to put it all together. All right, so after you upload the SVG into Cricut Design Space, you may want to separate everything into what colors you want to do. I have a white layer, a black glitter layer, and a red glitter layer. And then I decided for the maple leaf in the middle, instead of doing it just straight red, to print it off in plaid. So I ended up with four different colors. This was weeded out of the center here and I actually might just decide and add it to the design off to the side just because why not, why waste it? And instead of taking out, you can actually merge these all together so you don't have to worry about it cutting in the inside. But I didn't think of it because originally I was going to weed out the center maple leaf and the boxes here so that when I fit this on here you know it goes in in like a puzzle but then I started thinking about I know that when you're layering the bottom layer sometimes shrinks a little bit and then I thought trying to match this up into the exact placement of where the maple leaf is in here could be a problem so I thought you know what I'm not going to weed out this section in design space you could just merge this all so it's all one but if you did want to take it out you would have an extra white maple leaf which you could add to your design if you wanted to so I've got my one piece two piece three piece and technically the fourth piece because I decided to do a plaid maple leaf for the center. Now I'm going to switch over here. This is my HTV Ront heat press which I love and you know honestly I love this thing. You just press a button and it goes down for you and it comes up all on its own. I don't have to worry about burning my hand on uh, the, the platen of one of those other type of heat presses. Crick, this is only about $300 Canadian. You can get it cheaper, obviously, if you're American. Whereas Cricut sells theirs for like $1,200. Who can afford that? But if $300 is still too steep for you, you can use a household iron for this type of iron-on. Or I also have an Off Nova brand of handheld heat press that you can get for around $100. I will link all these things in my description of the video in case you want to look into them but here we go on the placement of this now I preheated the shirt already next thing you should do is lint roll the shirt you'll be surprised how much little bits of dust and everything Unfortunately, I just took this out of the dryer and it was a little bit wrinkled, so I was trying really hard to iron out the wrinkles. Um, I would have preferred to have it a little bit less wrinkly, but anyways, here we go. So I usually put the design about three fingers down from there. And if you want, you can go through the step of folding your shirt in half exactly and pressing a crease down the middle so that you know your exact middle placement. I honestly usually am not that picky about it, um, but I often will use the tag in the middle as my center, like this little line here is probably my center, so I'm just gonna use that. But for those of you that want to, a lot of people do the, make a crease down the middle and they use that for their reference. Okay. So the first thing I guess I need, the biggest piece is gonna be this one. Let's see if I can face this down more. I don't even know if you guys were seeing anything. Sorry about that. Okay. So, 
if I want this to be about three fingers down, I'm going to do it probably about there. I have to kind of figure out, I can't remember the angle, so I'm going to have to play around with this a little bit. See, I've already got a piece of dog hair in there. Okay, so let's say that goes there. I'm hoping I didn't make this design too big. I did it about nine and a half inches wide. I sized it to nine and a half inches wide by 12. And so you have to do one at a time because you can't have them overlapping. So I'll be doing the white first and then doing the black and then doing the red. But I'm just doing this right now to give me an idea if this is gonna fit. Now obviously, yours won't have the pedomania stop on the bottom. It, I just put it on, so I thought, why not? Let me start advertising. Okay, so that'll go there. See, I've got this. And normally you wouldn't have that. And then this will go in here. And then we will be doing this on top here. All right, so let's start with the white layer. I think that this is going to work. I might want to move my umbrella over a little bit so that the Scotty is a little bit more centered. So I think I'm going to do that. My umbrella is going to go more to... more to this side. Now my machine wants to turn off because I've been talking too much. All right, let me turn it back on. Okay, so let's say we're gonna do that. Let's see. Now he's crooked, so I want this to be straight. But then pedomania stop. Let me see, I gotta, I guess I have to do it so that the pedomania stop isn't crooked. But for you guys, you can position this so that your maple leaf is more straight. But because I didn't take my name into account with lining it up with this, I mean, I honestly, I could cut this off. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. I'm going to cut that off quickly so that my maple leaf won't be sideways. Okay, so I'm just going to cut this. Okay. Okay. So I want to have this so that the leaf goes straight up. All right, like that. Now I'll have to adjust this one. You got a little bit of finicking, finicking around here. It's supposed to be a quick video. <laughs> and it's not turning out that way. Okay, sorry. Uh, actually, this is going to go over here. It's really hard to do things when you're videotaping. That fits in there. It's going to go over more like this. Okay, so it's going to be like that. So I'm going to take this Scotty off. And then I can unwrinkle this shirt. It's really hard to do all of this at once. I don't like that my shirt is so wrinkly. But I've already ironed it like three times. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do this layer first and because we're gonna be doing layer upon layer, you don't wanna do the full time for each press. You'll do one big press at the end. So I'm just gonna do this for 10 seconds and at a slightly lower temperature of 300. So put that pushes in there. All I do is press this button and it's going to do the 30, or sorry, 10 seconds. And you will see that this will just pop up for me when it's done. So easy. Okay, and I can pull this out. Let 
this cool down. If you were ironing it, you would just iron it and um, wait a few seconds for it to cool a little bit. Some iron-ons are uh, warm peel, some are cool peels. You just have to look and see which one yours is. I think this one might be a cool peel, so I'm going to put this on pause. Because I don't want to do any editing today, so it's just going to be one long video. Okay, so I've removed the top white layer, and now I've placed this red layer. Something to note, if you're going to use sparkly iron-on, it always has to be the topmost piece. I couldn't have done the sparkly iron-on for the white layer, because then when I put the red on top, it won't stick properly. So, okay, so I put this on, and I can already see that the white did shrink quite a bit, because now you see I, I have a very thin line here, whereas it, there was more overhanging when I designed this. So definitely merge your white layer together because it will be really hard to fit this in if you decide to weed out the inner pieces. Uh, okay, so now I'm gonna press this on for 10 seconds and I will save you having to watch that. One thing to remember though is um, any exposed pieces, you have to put a piece of Teflon or piece of parchment paper or butcher paper, no, actually not butcher paper is better because it doesn't have a coating on it but a piece of Teflon because you see how this did not have a cover on it if I hadn't put that on it might have stuck to the platen so you don't you don't want that so again I'm gonna let this cool and then I'll peel off this layer okay so now I'm just going to match this up there's a little ridge here which follows this tongue of the Scotty. Okay, so you can start with matching there. And then this little piece actually goes in where the eye is. So you gotta just match that up right there. Okay, and that'll help you with your placement. Okay. Now, this overlaps slightly, so I'm going to trim it down as much as I can. And now my maple leaf is going more straight up. That looks to be aligned pretty well there. Now I am just going to position my name on here so that it uh, is now lined up. Of course you guys would not be doing that part. And any pieces of stuff that overlap you should trim it so that they're not overlapping each other and when you've done something and you have a leftover piece you can use that again to cover up other pieces if you don't want to use butcher paper or Teflon so I could put that there but I have a big sheet of Teflon so I am just going to be using that this is a little bit close to the edge of my heat press so I'm going to pull the whole design up here so that I get it pressed for sure okay I'm going to press this again again I'm using my HTV Rant heat press which I love this thing ever since I got it it's just been so awesome and I will put my link down in the description thought the price was really good considering all the other ones out there and I didn't have I just love that I don't have to worry about burning myself okay I noticed that with this glitter iron on I can peel it when it's warm so we should be able to just start peeling this right away it's just the white layer that seemed like it needed to be cool Okay, I hope all my paw prints come off. Yes, they did. Nice. Okay, actually, I'm just going to leave this on because I still have to do one more. Still want to put my leaf in. 
Now I'm guessing this will have shrunk a little bit, but hopefully we can fit this in. Yes, we can. Okay, good. I was a little bit worried about doing this on top of the glitter. That's why I peel. That's why I pulled this out because I needed to have this on something that wasn't glitter. If you were just using regular black vinyl, you could leave this in or merge this whole Scotty as one, and then you can put your leaf on top of the whole design. But the reason why I pulled it out is because of it being glitter. Okay, so looks like it's going to fit in there good. And as I said, I might as well make use of this extra one even though it's black. I think I will put it... Actually, it needs to go that way. Not sure where I want to put it. I mean, there is a big kind of space right here. I wish I had the tail, though. I'm missing the tail of the maple leaf, so maybe I need to put it somewhere... that makes more sense for not having a tail. I know. I know, I know, I know. I'm going to put it right down here by the T. So then that looks like part of the stem. How about that? Okay, so now this is exposed, this is exposed, all this is exposed, so I need Teflon. And because this is going to be the final press, I should be able to do this now for the full 30 seconds. And uh, so I'm actually going to put the time up to 30 seconds to do a full press. Not oh, one more. Okay. And here we go. There we go. Okay, again, I'm going to pause and I will be back. All right, one more thing that they usually recommend you do is doing a press from the back side. So I actually think I will pull this off first. Is this one a cold peel? That one might be a cold peel. So I'm just going to put this back under for a second because I started to peel it too soon. Okay, I flipped the whole thing over and I'm just going to press it for another 15 seconds. All right, let me peel off this last one. Okay, good. I got it to stick because the edges are still trying to stick to this little bit of the glitter, but it worked. All right. But of course, you can do a non-glitter Scotty or whatever dog you choose if you would like me if you'd like to send me a picture of your own Scotty or any other dog I can uh, turn it into an SVG for you um, and then you can make your own make your own shirt so this is how it's turning out